Hi, it's Yui. Today, I'd like to show you how to make mochi sweets with marshmallows. If you have leftover marshmallows from your barbecue s'mores, this recipe will be a great solution. It's super easy to make, and the mochi is so tasty, so please try it. I'll show you how to make the mochi sweets in two different ways, and the first one is kinako mochi. Kinako is roasted soybean flour that has a nutty taste. We often use it for Japanese sweets, and you can get it on Amazon or Asian grocery stores. We'll coat the mochi with the kinako powder later on, but first let's make the mochi. All we need to make the mochi are marshmallows and water. Just add them together in a pot over medium to low heat and let the marshmallows melt. It take a few minutes and keep stirring to avoid burning the marshmallows. Once all the marshmallows are melted like this, transfer the marshmallow mix to a bowl or container. Then let the raw heat cool and refrigerate it for about 1 hour. I love eating the leftover marshmallow mix in the pot. It's delightfully crispy and don't want to waste it. Also soak the pot in hot water to make it easier to clean. Take it out of the fridge and spoon out the mixture into one bite sized scoops. Coat with the kinako powder gently and it's done. The marshmallow mochi is sweet. So I like adding a pinch of salt to balance the flavors. The texture of the mochi is amazing, and I love the contrast between the sweet marshmallow and the bitter nutty kinak flavors. Next one is matcha mochi. The base mochi is the same, but once the marshmallows are melted in the pot, add green tea powder and a mix well. I got this matcha powder at the Turtle Gels, but you can get it on Amazon too. Then same as before, put the mixture in a bowl and cool the raw heat. Then keep it in the fridge for 1 hour. Take it out of the fridge and scoop it out with a spoon one by one. Once you have the cute one bite sized matcha mochi, coat it with some more matcha powder. You can eat the mochi without kinako and the matcha powder, but I prefer coating the mochi with these flavors to temper the sweetness. Again, easy delicious recipe. It goes great with coffee or tea. Hope you like the recipe and enjoy these Japanese sweets at home. I'll be posting more dessert recipes, so please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again. Mata ne!